Yo, what is up everybody? I want to welcome you guys back to my YouTube channel, Tall Guy Nahemi. If you could, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get into it. In this video today, we're going to be going over the different types of uh, limited slip differentials for your 2015 Plus Dodge Charger RT. Now, you need the 8-speed. I'm not really familiar if, the, uh, if these limited slips, they bolt into the 5-speed RTs, but if you got an 8-speed, this is for you. Now, for the 2015 Plus RTs, there's several different types of LSDs you can go with. Um, first being the 309, it's kind of the most popular, and then the 370, uh, 390, and the 262, which is out of the Hellcat. I'll go ahead and go over some positives with all the limited slips. So this is this is being the 309, the 262, um, the 390, and the 370. So if you if you uh, go with, decide to go with any of those um, on your car, your car is going to see better gas mileage. Um, you're going to get to the power much quicker. Both wheels are going to spin, makes for better burnouts. You also have a better 60 foot and zero to 60 time. And when you're cruising on the highway, your RPMs will be a little bit higher than normal, um, being from the stock 262s. And also, before I forget, if you do these, if you do the limited slip differential, there's no tuning required since your um, your speedometer goes off your front wheels in these eight speeds. So all it is is just plug and play. I swapped out my stock 262 open diff for a 309 limited slip differential out of a Scat Pack. So I'll let you guys see it down here. It looks a little bit different from the stock 262s as you see those little prong things hanging down from the diff. Um, the stock 262s don't have that on the, the limited slips. So with the 309s in my car, I love it so much. The car pulls great. It's so fun to drive. Um, the 309s, they make it super, super fun. I'm going from stoplight to stoplight. So it's definitely, definitely a recommended mod for me and I'm sure a lot of other people. So definitely do it. I don't. It's like personal preference on which gearing you want to go with. I'll, I'll get into a little bit more about the, the 370s, the 390s, and the 262s. So the 370s and the 390s, um, they're more for like a track. Obviously, they come out of a manual car. So being with the 8-speed, like I mentioned, I don't know if I mentioned this, but it makes the first two years pointless in the 8-speed. So I just, I kind of didn't want that. I wanted all my gears to be beneficial for me. So I went with the 309 because it's the most popular and it's had the best reviews. Now, I'm not saying the 370 or the 390 are bad. But if I were to build a track car, make my car specifically for the track, then I would go for 390 or 370. But since I daily mine, um, I think 390 or th excuse me, 309 is the perfect daily. Now the 370s and the 30, the 390, excuse me, they pull super hard, even from a dig and a roll. Like when you get on it, they they pull. Trust me, they pull. I've been in a couple of cars with them, and they they pull a lot harder than the 309s. But the 309s overall, they pull great. Like don't just because they're a lower gear doesn't mean they're bad. They pull, they pull good. Um, they drive really, really well. So don't, don't, don't count them out. Obviously, keep them in mind. But the 390 and the 370, they pull hard. So finally, there's a, the 262 limited slip, and that's out of the Hellcat automatic. Um, it's, it's basically the same as the stock 262 we have now, but both wheels spin. Um, 262s are more for a top end, um, not really low end and mid range like the 309s or the 390, 370s are. Um, you can go with the 262. I don't. I don't know a lot of people going with the 262 from a Hellcat, so I don't really know too much about it, how they drive or how they pull. I'm guessing it's the same as the stock with just both wheels spin. But hey, two wheels spin is way better than one. thing I don't want this video to be about a certain gear set um, obviously the gears they have the pros and cons even the 309s the 262s the 390s 370s they're n none of them are perfect they all have their flaws so this is kind of just a video to help you guys keep your mind open and go with what you want and not just what everybody's going for um, like if you build your car for the track obviously go with the 370 or the 390 if you do everyday street car street racing 309 honest it's my opinion just for the 309s but you can go to the 262 um, try those out so that's all that's all i have for you guys today i really appreciate you watching if you could please leave a like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace